Hello, 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 friends. My name is Shrine, and it's time for more Trials of Cold Steel 2. And let's roam around. Got some quests to do in your mirror, so I thought I'd say hi to Reen's parents and just say hello. Reen, we were just told what's about to happen. You're to take part in the liberation of the capital, yes? I'm sure you're aware of how dangerous this will be. More so than anything else you've done to date. I am, but this is our chance to bring the Civil War to an end for good. I know how you guys worry about me. But as a student of Thor's, I want to fight to protect my country. And as Elise's brother, I want to fight to take her back. Yeah, we gotta save Elise, finally. I'm sorry, but my mind's made up. I have to go. <laughs> we knew you'd say something like that. That we did. You're not a child anymore. You've grown into a fine young man. And I have no intentions of stopping you. Do what you feel needs to be done. Bring Elise home and rescue His Majesty, Reen. I won't let you down. It's hard to believe just how much you've grown in these past two months. I think it may finally be time. You deserve to know the truth, Reen. What? What truth? Dad? What? What truth? There's something that I've been keeping from you all this time. I've wondered when this day would come, and now I believe you're old enough and mature enough to handle it. And so, once all of this is over, I will tell you all that I know about your birth. Oh! Well, he knows more than he let on? Whoa, that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Darling, are you sure? I am. I'm sorry for not running this past you first, Lucia. But wouldn't you agree he has the right to know? And I'm sorry to you as well, son. I didn't intend to bring this up so suddenly. It's all right, Dad. I wasn't expecting you to bring up the issue now. But somewhere in the back of my mind, I'd always suspected there was something you weren't telling me. I see. You did? <laughs> Elliot's like, what? You did? <laughs> it's not like I had proof or anything. But I was found abandoned in a blizzard. Under those circumstances, a kid my age would freeze to death in a matter of hours. And yet Dad just happened to find me in the nick of time. I couldn't help but wonder if maybe there was more to it. I kept turning it over and over in my head, trying to figure out if there was something I was missing all this time. I see. I'm so sorry. We didn't realize you were suffering so much over it. <laughs> I don't think it's something you should have to apologize for. I know why you wouldn't tell me. And besides, I feel like I've grown a lot in this last year too, personally. Thanks to Elise and everyone I've met at Thor's, I can finally feel proud of who I am. And that's why, no matter what happens now, no matter what you have to tell me, I'll always be your son. That's never going to change. Yes, never. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to finding out, but it's not the big deal it once was anymore. <laughs> Thank you, son. Yay, hugs. Well, that's sweet. I was going to do oh, that. Oh, you can join in too. Yes, join in. Family hug. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting any of this, actually. I should be the one thanking the two of you. Your parents are amazing, Reen. They are. They're really awesome. I'm kind of jealous. I'm happy for you, Reen. Well, guess it's time to go. Take care, Reen. I know you can do it. Come back safely, all of you. We'll be right here to welcome you back. Right! right! Yes, you're right. I'm sure he'll be able to handle it. Indeed. All we can do is believe in him and pray that Adios watches over him from above. That was surprising. 
Didn't think your parents knew about your birth family. From the sound of things, however, they don't know much more than that. You wouldn't happen to remember anything regarding your childhood before being taken in by House Schwarzer, would you? Unfortunately not. My earliest memory is waking up in this house. I was in bed, and Elise was by my side. Wait, no, that's not my earliest memory. There was something before that. What is it? Oh, Reen does remember something. Okay. Oh, the blizzard? Boy, Dios, if you're listening, hear me now. Please allow this child. Hey, okay. Someone's voice. Reen, is something wrong? Oh, no. I'm fine. I think we've stayed here long enough. We should probably get moving. Ah. Was awesome actually. I did not expect that one bit. I was like, I'll go check on his parents, and that happened. I can't stop thinking about that radiant glow. Hmm, I can't wait to sink my teeth into its beautiful body. Hey there, Annabelle. Did you see some sort of rare fish in the water? Oh, good day, Reen. Actually, yes. Not long ago, I saw a giant shadow of a fish swimming throughout the stream here. Oh, a giant. A giant shadow? You don't think it'd be your Miss Guardian, do you? You know of it? Well, you grew up around here, so I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, you hear about sightings around here on occasion. Even saw it once back when I was a kid. Really? You must be as curious as I am then, aren't you? I would be if I were in your shoes. <laughs> But I'm afraid the legend of Ymir's guardian ends here. Or I shall be the one to reel it in for good. You're gonna catch it? <laughs> I certainly am. And if you don't want me catching it, you're just going to have to catch it before me. Neither of us will be in for an easy time, however. And I'm sure you're well aware, Reen. Ymir's guardian is a class of its own among the many fish in Erebonia. Still, I couldn't be more pleased to have you as my rival. With that said, may the competition begin. And may the best angler win. That is so cool. I'm, I'm definitely saving first. Thank you. Making a new save. I have 90 hours in this game now. Wow. I'm excited. I get to fish for the guardian. I did catch a fish in Trista River earlier. That was the 23rd. Should be the last one here. Let's go for it. Huh. It's gonna be too hard. The heck are you? You're beautiful though. There's so many golden colors. She did see a golden glint. Come on, fishy. I'm happy to staying in one spot for at least a moment. Oh, goodness. That was short-lived. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Probably only one chance at this anyway. Oh, wrong button. No, 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 cannot lose, cannot lose, cannot lose. No. Dang it. Come on. Why is this hard? And back fish. It was only three chances. I have so much ground bait, it's not funny. I never use it. Ow. This the one. Will this be it? No, I don't want turbo mode. That messed me up. <laughs> I was doing good though. Heat turbo mode. Who's up fishing? <sighs> I can't try it both hands. Hit turbo mode on accident. You didn't think this is gonna be a fishing episode, did you? <laughs> I didn't either. Oh come on! Yeah. Green fish for your life. 
<laughs> I can't do it anymore. That really hurts my fingers mashing away. I didn't expect it to be that hard. I want the trophy, thank you. I wanna win again fish fish. Come on. Come on, Rain. I need you to win this already. I'm tired. You don't get this one. Come on, please! Oh, freaking close. Oh my gosh, I won. Whoa, this is a big one. Uh, yes, this means a big one. I got the trophy. The real deal. Caught. Oh, Arch tr Tyrant. Caught Arch Tyrant. 50 points, size 300 reg. Oh my gosh. First time bonus, 250 points. All right. Types caught 24 out of 24. Finally, definitely saving after all of that. That was the hardest one ever. Like, the guardian in the last game was not that hard. Coughed up some new materials. I caught it. <laughs> to think I'll be defeated. Oh yes, I won. Look at the size of it, though. This sucker's huge. And the radiant glow coming from it is so beautiful. All the legends turn out to be true after all. Indeed. At a glance, it seems that to be at least three arg long. It must be a mutation of a gladiator. Yeah, although it weighs a lot more, and it's way more powerful, too. Never struggled so much to catch a fish in my life. Seriously, that was hard. That was so hard. Not joking, it hurt my fingers so bad. Even as that, be as that may be, victory is yours. And for your achievement, I hereby proclaim you a Platinum Angler. I have a little something special for you to exchange your points for now, too. Oh. <laughs> thank you. I still want to know what it tastes like, though. Gummy fish. Uh, Annabelle? Please don't mind me. I'm saving. I never want to save more. Well, not in my life, but pretty darn close. That was hard. What do you have for me, Annabelle? Ooh, my mouth's watering. Imagine how succulent a piece of meat that big must be. Suppose I'll just find out for myself. Good luck finding another guardian. The one you caught might have children, or even siblings. Enough of this idle chatter. I have work to do. Oh, that got grim quickly. Seriously, she's like, I'm gonna eat the children. I'm like, no, don't. Not the fish's kids. Still, she'd probably give up before too long, even if she's one of the strange people I know. That got really dark. This makes it the second time you've bested me, come to think of it. I'd love to join the Imperial Fishing Club to keep my skills sharp and allow me to prevent future defeats. Aren't you supposed to be on our way home? Guess her English spirits completely pushed that thought out of her mind. Wait, what? Oh, I want to get married. Go, go, Tama, you need to speak up. He's really these us back all this. I'm not disturbed. What's going on with him? Someone came to see Tama before. Charles was with them too. They were inside talking about something. I guess they didn't come to play today? Okay, what's going on? Oh, that does look really, um, interesting. Charles' dad is there. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Marx. It's a pleasure to have you here. I understand that there is something you wish to tell Toma? That's right, there's plenty I'd like to say to him, actually, but first things first. Listen up, Toma. You're forbidden from getting within three arc of shot, you hear me? Keep all discussion to a minimum, and don't so much as look at her funny either. Don't get me wrong, you seem like a fine young man, but you're not ready to be your husband yet. Understood? Dang. Uh, husband? Dad, where on earth are you embarrassing me? Who said anything about marriage? You did! Oh, that's not a marriage thing! Um, Lily's a little over-enthusiastic about this one. Poor Toma. How do I even reply to that? I, I mean, I can't say that I haven't thought about it before, but I... Aww. It's a bit too early to be serious and think about the idea, right? Aww, poor Toma. Putting him on the spot like this. <laughs> 
quite overdective, isn't he? Out of sight, I've heard of what's set to place take place in Erebonia. Prepare the evacuate should worse come to worse. But please, don't concern yourselves with us. This is a turning point in Erebonia's history, after all. Focus your attention on that instead. Okay. Tradition has it that a lady seeking her lover's hand in marriage will bring her father to the lover's home. <laughs> Neither Tom nor Charles seem entirely opposed to the idea either. You think it's safe for me to get my hopes up for the future? Oh, yes, it might be. It might be, my dear. That's great. <laughs> I mean, he did go over there. I guess it does seem like I can arrange for their marriage. Now I can't even remember the reason I came in the first place. Either way, you can bet I'll be taking this opportunity to make sure Toma keeps his hands off her. He will. This is so embarrassing. So much for exchanging greetings before dropping me off. You're such a big dummy, Dad. Big dummy. That was too cute. <laughs> that was great. Did they say anything different than I talked to him? No. No, they didn't come to play. Well, maybe a bit. What else is going on in here? You really did well, Kotan. <laughs> I can't believe you're able to ride alongside me. Oh, go Katan! He's been learning to ride. Awesome. You got the hang of it now. Yay! It wasn't hard after all. It wasn't hard at all after a while. Good job. What a relief. Oh, that's Nervous Sun. The war still seems to be raging on, so it's a bit early to be completely relaxed. But this is the best thing that's happened to our family since it began. I think this calls for a celebration. Aww. Hooray! I can ride a horsey now! Zeku's a good boy. He helped me learn how to ride. Oh, he is a good boy. Thank you, Zeku. Hi, Zeku. How cute. Cutest little pony ever. Two of us went out together to pick medicinal grass. We didn't ride that far of a distance, but it must have been a tough ride for a child who couldn't ride at all until recently. I'm amazed at how he he's grown in such a short span of time. He's doing great. Be too hard. It should be okay, right? Probably. Let's do it. Take his butt. This might actually be a challenge. Good. My turn. What are you? Builder? Waker? Oh yeah, I should really scan it. So. Get a little faster, please. Focus. Activate. Thank you, Thief. Here I go. Bane is going to motivate. All right, let's do this. Fire Leave it to this. me. Leave it to me. Uh, for the moment, guys. I'm sorry. Switch. Can you handle this? We I'll try at least. This it's analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. An ancient fish monster that stores high voltage electric electric energy in its body, capable of burning its surroundings. Mm. I'm just trying to go to town on it. Thank you. My blade will cleave ignorance and light the way. Termination slash gone. Okay, forty thousand nice. Okay. You're finished. So many bees. Oh my gosh, we hit forty nine thousand. Take it out. Here's a performance especially for you. Really? Seventh Rhapsody! You've 
in a wonderful audience. Oh, cool. oh, that wasn't much damage. That's fine. Yeah, you missed. That seems like a bumpy deal here. Oh, man. Badness. Okay. Good luck. I'll show With you pleasure. Wind. Yeah, don't want to get that whatever heal, so... Yes. This? They're open! There! Show you blessings of the wind. Come on, guys. Take his butt. I need a nice strength up. Take his butt. Okay. Here I go. Almost brought it back to where it was. Sorry, Don't finish it no off, Matthews. Job team. Good job. That was fun. All right, let's keep moving. Aries reached level five. Perfect. Milestone. Ooh. Gain an ability. Reduce AT delay after water arts delay. Reduce to half. Okay. I'm That's just a good getting one to me. started. Done. Everyone's leveling up. That should suffice. Treasure sword two can now be used. Heals foes and ice and shatters it in a balance twenty percent. Oh, I did it. I won. And I will come back to the next quest once I go heal in your mirror. That's what I do. I heal. doing on the screen. <laughs> I bet you were expecting me to show up, were you? I can access that computer from my, in my chair. Only your report to Prince Oliver, but seeing as we can't get in contact with him, I'm going to be the one listening to your reports today. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, go. Whoa, received 14,000 Mira for completing the quest. <laughs> well done! That should be everything. There's still time left until the operation is scheduled to start, so let me know if you have anything else to report. I will, thank you. Reen, don't tell me. You said called the legendary Ymir's guardian. I did. That's right, it wasn't easy, though, let me tell you. No great catch ever is, that's just incredible. I've never even seen it, let alone had a chance to land it. Was the mutation of a gladiator? Must have been quite the sight when you fished it up, that's for sure. Still, I say that now you're truly worthy of the title of Platinum Angler. An incredibly rare honor. The only other person... Incredibly rare honor. The only other people with it are myself, my brother, and his Elite Four. That's like half the people I know actually fish. <laughs> it's rare, trust me. There are a lot of fishermen out there. And hey, that title earns you this nice little bonus too. It's all yours. It'll be handy for all the fighting you do. Oh, Orochi. What is that? Whoa, this looks like one strong master quartz. Thank you so much, Kenneth, for this and all the support you've given me to reach this point. Ah, don't worry about it. Support's free, and I've got plenty of it. Now that you're a platinum angler, you've got access to a whole new slew of prizes, so just keep on trading your points. A pleasure. Alright. So there looks like there might be a quick event in the Duke Abrea's room. Let's check it out.
Your Grace, I think you should refrain from... Silence! Just you watch. I will return to glory, no matter what it takes. Ah, oh, I know. Were I to capture his majesty, I would have countless options on how to stage my triumphant return. Wow, this guy never learns. Is he seriously still thinking of such insanity? Some people seriously don't know when to give up. Father, I beg you to stop this madness. Why can you not understand that all you are doing is soiling the good name of Alborea? You dare to speak to me in such a manner? Whose fault do you think it is that I'm in this situation to begin with? Yours. Yours, Duke. Your own, father. We nobles stand above the common people, but that is all the more reason we should conduct ourselves with pride. You've become obsessed with the power you have at your disposal, and yet you disregard the responsibilities that come with it. What this family needs now is to regain the trust and dignity that will allow it to stand atop the nobility once more. To be recognized once more as worthy of being loyal subjects of his majesty. Why can't you understand that, father? Eusus. Lord Eusus. Uh. And who do you think you are lecturing? I don't need you to tell me what I must take back. I will take back all that I've lost regardless. I apologize for speaking out of turn. I shall serve as your acting representative to the best of my abilities until you are fit to return. I pray that is soon. That will do for now. Hm. You reminded me of your mother for a moment. Oh. Okay. She was always a reserved woman, but with a strong sense of integrity and a great inner strength. Pardon, Father? I will leave the running of the province to you for the time being, Eusus. Keep things as they are until I can return. And be wary of Duke Cayenne. That man is not to be trusted. He uses the Alliance's power for his own benefit and takes control of everything important himself. He has something planned. I know it. Why else should he have involved all those suspicious collaborators in all of this? Hm. I'm certain that it was his fault that Rufus betrayed me as well. Regardless, if you manage to oust him from his position, I want to know about it. I belong at the top of the Alliance, not him. Well, if you will excuse me, I ought to take my leave. Take good care of yourself, Father. Please excuse us. I'm sorry that you had to see me like that. Oh no, I'm happy to see you like that, Yusus. You stood up. That was awesome. He hasn't changed. Although, I don't know. I got the impression what you said had some effect on him. As did I. In my eight years as part of this family, that is the first time he has shown any interest in me. Perhaps it means he finally sees at least a little potential within me as his son. I can now leave here with no regrets. Now I can face my brother as a proud member of the Alborea family. I'm glad to hear it, Eusis. In that case, good for you, I, I guess. All right, let's get going. Not just to face Crow, but to meet Rufus again, too. Right. Oh, that was nice. I liked it. Well, you mentioned the mother. Never mentioned Eusis's mother before. That was cool. Is it Scarlet's room? Okay. Back again, are you? You really are a meddlesome little boy. Sorry for thinking there's anything wrong with looking out for the sick and injured. How are you feeling? I've heard you're still bedridden. Oh, my condition's nothing to worry about. I'm a real toughie, for better or for worse. Maybe if I was a much frailer woman, then I would have been able to return to Adios instead of being left here. <laughs> Not likely. She seems kind of different from before. What you've done can never be forgiven. Nothing in your past could excuse what you did as a terrorist. But I still want to know what made you hate the Chancellor so much you'd throw away your own life to take his. Would you be willing to tell us, Scarlet? I never had the chance to hear that part last time we spoke. 
I suppose. It's not like hiding it is going to do me any good at this point. It's not that special a story. But if you want to know that badly... I told you about my family, didn't I? Back on the Pantagruel. We had a big farm in Midwestern Erebonia. It was a really peaceful place. We had plenty of land, too. My parents were adored by the workers on it. And I loved living there. Then all of a sudden, we were told there was going to be a railway built through it. It was supposedly part of a national project with the Chancellor's backing. The land was all requisitioned, and before any of us knew it, it was no longer ours to call home. All we had was a pile of Mira. We were meant to take that and go find somewhere else to live, apparently. Really sucks. I wasn't even in Erebonia when it happened. By the time I got back in the country, it was all over. That farm was my father's life. We tried, but we couldn't find another place that could even begin to compare to the one we'd lost. And in the end, all we were left with was a pile of money we neither wanted nor had any use for. Crow told me a similar story about his own past. He said that his grandfather passed away afterwards. Um... My father was the same. He fell into the depths of despair and tried to drown his sorrows with alcohol. And then he eventually died in an accident. And after that, we all just drifted apart. I don't know where the rest of my family is or if they're even alive anymore. I don't know what to say. Losing one's home is bad enough, but losing one's reason to live at the same time. I know just how Crow feels. I suppose that's why I feel that if anyone can do it, it's all of you. If anyone can make him turn back, it's you. Scarlet, don't worry, we will. You have my word. Yeah, I mean, he's our classmate. He needs to come back and take full responsibility for all the trouble he caused at the festival. We need to settle things with him for our own good, as well as his. Thank you for telling us your story. I hope you get better soon. <sighs> I've gotten myself caught by the world's biggest goody two-shoes, haven't I? Well, that is going to end this episode here today. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it went well for you. Please let me know what you think and have an awesome day. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Bye.